Hello pilots in another episode of Airbase Briefing. We have a new update to discuss. We'll start with a new plane that will soon be added to the game in another tiring event. Martin Baker Megabyte 5. This is another fighter in a row on our beloved Tier 7. Plane from 5 o'clock's not only on toilet paper, there was one prototype. It performed great, except for one show for Churchill where the engine stopped working and the pilot, when he tried to bail out, hurt his arm, and had to land with one hand in the potty. There was simply no use for Megabyte 5, because Spitfires were doing well, and jet planes were already on the horizon. It's just like in our game. Another tier 7, and when we playing up against tier 8 once again in a row, we want to bail out. Enough about the history, let's move on to the specifics. We have 300 HP. Maneuverability like a Spitfire. Excellent top speed 740 km per hour. But the optimal altitude is really shitty 1400 meters, so it's only slightly better than the Russian LA-7, made of shredded board. And it might seem, that 4 20mm guns can comfort us, but no, because Wargam Minsk does not want to make a British version of the K6 and these are not the two guns, that the Tier 7 Spitfire has. This is a little trick, these are the guns, that Spitfire has on tier 6 multiplied by 2, so we have a DMG almost identical to the Tech 3 Spit on tier 7. They heat up as quickly as we do, when we see another battle on tier 8. And of course it's a British 20mm guns and the British don't use a synchronizer very often, to shoot through the propeller, so we have it in the wings. So any thoughts about super accuracy we can throw out the window. If you want to see detailed data I use, please visit the website Game Models 3D. Because so far WG has not added a new plane to its website. You will also find additional information such as auto aim angle, dispersion angle, information that our game does not provide. To sum up Megabyte 5 it's a plane that doesn't like to fly high, good for Spitfire fans, but I don't know, if even they are ready to fly so low, we won't judge too harshly too early, we'll wait for the next tier 7 plankton and test it thoroughly, one thing is certain here, it won't be overpower. Next thing, dear Wargame Minsk as always you fix the game you first break. Players have a request, please don't screw up the clan badge this time. A little bit of competence won't hurt, the time wasted on fixing what could have been done right the first time can be spent on a developing airbase. Something for clans to develop the community as it is in world of tanks or world of warships. And anyway, how you repair these clan badges is fucking invisible. You're kidding me. How is someone supposed to see such a clan badge? Try harder next time. Okay, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, and subscribe for future content. Take care pilots.